another statue. A uh, Weta Workshop. Uh, no, no, this is Lord of the Rings, however. But it's not Weta Workshop. It's not these awesome guys here. It is Iron Studios again. Iron Studios. Nazgul on the horse. This is a 110 uh, Deluxe statue. I sold out on this sucker. But I rebought it for myself because it was that beautiful. And how do I know that? I don't know. I'm just going to open it and figure it out. So let's open it. And uh, hopefully it's uh, it's big. It looks big. I think it's big. It's got a horse. It's got a horse. It's got to be big. All right. Let me open it. Uh, Iron Studio, please uh, do good. They've done well in the past with Nazgul's and Lord of the Rings. All their stuff is fantastic. But, and I think this is the scene where where the hobbits are running and they get they get to that shore and they jump on the boat god all the lower ring guys can you, if you tell me the name of that lake that boat that road and i know you can i'd, I'd appreciate it i would all okay, right let's behold do it. Uh, the nazgul on horse is out and about you might hear the air conditioner in the background and so but uh it's still in the 80s here 90s here in this side of michigan i think the entire month of september it hasn't rained once uh, it's not very good for uh, a place that's <laughs> that needs rain. Anyways, forget about that. Forget about uh, looming and grooming. Wait, no, dooming. Yeah, that's the word. Loom and doom. What? Whatever. Behold, the Nazgul. And uh, beautiful piece, gorgeous, love it. Look at this thing. Look. He is look. Are you looking? Look at this. Beautiful. If you're a Lord of Rings fan, um, and there's some really cool little details about this piece. Uh, one of the cool things about is this sword here. Uh, it feels like metal. It feels like metal. Looks like metal. It probably is some kind of resin, but it's fantastic. The Nazgul's are very simple. Right down here. Right down there. Look at the uh, the drape of doom, dread. There's the horse, the tail. The tail you got to attach to him. Very simple, kind of a peg magnet. And uh, look at the horse here. This is kind of like an undead horse too, right? I'm sure the horse has a name to it too. Uh, and I know Lord of the Ring fans, fanatics, experts will tell me the name of this horse. Uh, if you can in the comments, I would love to know. But there are more than one. But you can see the wounds and the scrapes and the cuts and the blood and the death. I don't know. I, th I think they're undead, kind of like, or stuck in a, uh, another kind of purgatory, maybe. Like these guys, I think in the back of the horse right here, too, is another wound. Yeah, see, very cool. Very awesome. Let's get to the front of the horse. Uh, sorry, my 360. Look, look how awesome the detail is on the uh, the armor, the straps, the whatever you call it. I, I, I get, I could tell the horse people are like an idiot, but to me, it's just a crazy horse, man. Look at that little emblem there. Very cool. Look at the uh, look at the bootses. Very cool. I love this thing. Look at this. Look at the little tiny details. Saddle, the chain. The chain does move. This is kind of a rubbery, I think. But these are these are real chains here. Very cool. Horse is like oozing out blood. Needs a dentist. Very nice. Get him down here, very here. Like it, like it, like it. More wounds. Now, uh, the only thing about this statue is uh, I like it. I because I understand the the scene the, the scene of the movie. If I have it right. I don't think this is when they're looking for him in the forest, or it could be a combination of it, like when they when they leave the Shire, or it could be like like I told you, like uh, right when they get to that shore and they jump on the little raft or whatever. These guys can't like go in deep water. I don't know how it works, but anyways, the the what I was telling you about is the base. Okay, now you would think, oh, you know, this is water and it's 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 hitting a shore here, and it could be a little clear, but the way they painted it. Was very flat it's a very flat paint with just a white uh with the white uh wash the, the caps from the waves but um i think because it's supposed to be dark it's supposed to be dark out too they're not riding around in the light here so it's kind of like uh if you look at the shore and you kind of see water but you can't see it crystal clear like an aquaman statue or something that he's like in his glory would have this this wonderfully clear wait let me why am i talking so much let's look over here see that Okay, if you saw that, then that's kind of a clear, that's the uh, Avatar one, you know, they're kind of in the, in the sunlight. This is more of the dark, uh, 
murky kind of shore for Lord of the Rings. Um, again, and let's see if you can see anything in there. No, you can't. And it's really awesome when you, uh, you're up close. You don't know when it ends. And I don't know if it's hollow. I don't know. It's fantastic. But anyways, let me do a, a really, a better job here at kind of panning in and out of this uh, beautiful 110 Nazgul on the horse. Hey, they called it a horse too, so don't get mad at me. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Very cool, very nice. Let's go in the front here. Again, again, uh, like I said earlier too, I sold out on this guy, but I can get more, hopefully, until they run out. They will run out soon. This uh, statue is not numbered. It's a pretty big, it's a big one. It's one of the bigger, bigger 110 pieces. So if you like, uh, of course, a quarter scale, this would be huge. So this is your perfect size for the Nazgu on the horse representation of Lord of the Rings. So I talked a lot. Enjoy the video. Have a great week. Uh, be safe, guys. See ya.